downtown Toronto that has already passed its growth targets, has you know thousands of units being being built every year. And there's and not enough green space. There's not, in the city. We, yeah, we've got a green space issue. We have a, a space issue for kids in school. So we see this as, as beyond my child, Tanya's child, other parents' children. This is well, for it's a decision for 30 yeah. years. Because, well, that's the other. Know, at the end of the day, there's going to be these buildings will be standing here for a long time, a long time. and that will create the need for schools for a long time and parks, as you pointed out. I mean, you've heard me talk about this in the entire city. We seem, you know, with the help of the OMB, help, I mean, putting in quotation marks, uh, there's been a lot of uh, condo buildings built, and we haven't uh, focused on transit, parks, schools. Uh, I could go on. Hydro is even strained, uh, you know, and, and we've got to sort of reverse that imbalance. But as you say, that it requires some changes to rules and so on, some reform to the OMB, but it also requires uh, a degree of will and creativity uh, to try and find, and, and it, it, you have to be more creative when you're trying to find a solution to something that's already gone as far as this one has gone. And we understand so, that. We're just hoping that politicians will step up and, and look to that as you said it's a this isn't a decision for the next three to four years it's 30 yeah. years and we look at it as this is about the health the safety the education of the children here now but the children that are going to come in for the next 30 years yeah. is a hundred year old and, and I wouldn't be here uh, if it wasn't for the fact that I view it as that important in the context not just of this neighborhood and this school but also the whole city and and this area of the city and the need to sort of uh, do something that is going to provide a long term uh, answer to this in terms of, uh, you know, even just school capacity is an issue. So, I, I, But I admire your uh, advocacy. You can see that it actually does, you know, work in the context of uh, making sure that it gets everybody's attention. You've got the councillor here. Uh, I think you would have the premier, but, but the, for the fact she's out of town, uh, you have, uh, you know, people's attention. And uh, that's uh, often step one on making sure we can find that creative solution you're talking about. And I'm certainly here to make sure the parents know I'm going to work very hard to try with Councillor Robinson uh, to find uh, some sort of uh, something that makes this better. That's all you can say. I mean, at the end of the day.